Last night, we were able to get another pretty big leak at a new animation and also an update leak on what the next update's gonna be on Roblox Funky Friday. So make sure you guys smack the like. More people gotta know about this one. It's not on the light channel. Don't forget to subscribe. You start code attack and let's get right into it. So yesterday, LEGO posted this picture at 2.24 p.m. Eastern Time. And it looks like it's gonna be another animation leak, which looks pretty cool. Maybe some of you guys have seen this. Maybe some of you guys have not. But let's analyze the picture and see what we got so it looks like we got a cyborg looking thing going to be attached to a roblox humanoid on their back right some noticeable features that we can pull from the cyborg is that they got red crimson robotic eyes they got some really sharp canine teeth they also have a Beyblade attachment, like a little razor thing, attached to the back of the cyborg. And the styling list looks really unique as well. It's not like a normal cyborg that you'd see from a cartoon or anything like that. Now, this animation is going to be another collaboration with Tambrush. If you guys don't know who Tambrush is, he was basically the 3D modeler who modeled the Demon Tricky animation a couple of weeks ago on Funky Friday as well. He did a really great job recreating it, making it low poly making it like less laggier than the original animation too which is pretty cool so most likely he is going to make this animation less poly as well he's going to make it less laggier so that way this animation isn't going to be lagging your games as well which is going to be pretty cool but if you guys didn't know what this animation is or where it comes from it's coming from the versus qt mod which is a mod where you go up against a girl and she basically turns into an evil robot like halfway through the mod which is pretty insane actually and she turned into that same exact robot as well which makes things a lot more easier when we're trying to figure out this whole leak and everything like that so yes the robot's going to be attached to your roblox avatar behind your back while you're still on the ground you're not going to be like flying around the robot's not going to be like you know flying you around or hovering you above the ground though that would be cool it's uh, it's against the nature of this mod and if you look even closer on the mod as well we can actually see that the cyborg's mouth lights up between your inputs so what we can see tambrush doing and incorporating is having the mouth light up with your custom arrow color skins as well in the game which would be equally as cool too and also the little razor thing that's attached to the back of the cyborg could be spinning around just like how it does in the mod as well it kind of resembles of a blade blade i'm not sure if you guys ever played with those when you're growing up i remember playing those when i was like in elementary school those things were cool but this animation pretty much i would say is an 80% confirmation of what the next update for Funky Friday is going to be. I think the next major update is going to be the Versus QT mod. A lot of fans of it is a pretty popular mod when it first came out. So I think that would be a really great addition to the game. We can see most of the songs from the mod being added in as well, which is going to be pretty cool. Like, here's a little snippet of one of the songs. It's the last song from the mod, which is pretty insane. There was actually some controversy behind it as well because it was a pretty difficult song. But here's a little snippet of it. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty insane playing some of the songs from that mod. It's actually gonna be difficult songs. It's not gonna be too easy. So that way people are gonna be enjoying those harder songs too. Now pricing wise for the animation, because it is a collaboration with Tambrush, I think this is gonna be another expensive animation because the Demon Trick animation was pretty expensive when they did that last collaboration with them. I would say anything above 1,000 points at the minimum, maybe. I would say a good range for it would be 1,000 to 1,300 points for the QT animation. It's going to be requiring some 3D modeling. It's going to be requiring some poly rendering. Like, they're going to have to do some low poly renders in order to make the game less laggy, which Tambrush is very proficient in. So, that's going to be great to see that. So, it's definitely going to make the price hike up quite a bit. And when can we expect this update to come out as well? I would guess this weekend, maybe. Because, especially with kids going back to school, you know, everybody's going to be busy during the school year and everything like that maybe college and stuff like that i think doing the updates on the weekends are probably what they're going to be going after though they probably could drop this on a tuesday or a wednesday night as well but i don't think it's going to be as high of a chance because they're probably still working on stuff like that they're not pumping out updates as they used to so i would say maybe this weekend maybe friday night saturday night would be the best time to expect this update to come out but we'll just have to wait and see what happens but what do you guys think about it are you guys excited for the qt mod coming the roblox funky friday let me know what you should think about it in the comments down below don't forget to like subscribe you start code attack and peace